Hi there. Let's do a quick video on how to test your uh, controllers, your lights, your pixels, your X lights, your FPP um, when things aren't going right. I want to show you how you can go about testing it. First of all, you want to start with testing it from the controller. Now, keep in mind, I've got my uh, test system sort of going here along with my production, so I'm trying not to mess anything up, but uh, I will go through here. So testing from the controller, what does that involve? If you have a Falcon type device, you, you could open it up and you go to the test and you turn on the test button here and test all the ports. With Falcons specifically, they don't encourage you to test individual ports here, just an all or nothing. Do the lights come on? If they do come on, that tells you that the pigtails are good, the lights are good, uh, the power is good, the networking cable is good, uh, especially if you've got receivers, anything like that. So first test, make sure it works from here. If it doesn't work from here, it's not going to work from FPP and it's not going to work from X lights. So test from the controller first. So that is a Falcon type controller. And if I go back to X lights and if I go to a um, Culp like controller, an FPP based controller, and I open that, you have something similar over there. You go to the input output channel outputs and you have an option when you go to the actual outputs of testing from the controller. This is going to test everything that's configured. So make sure you've got pixels um, defined on your controller before you start the testing. So you can test with a red fade, green fade, blue fade, etc. Again, if it doesn't work from here, there's something physically wrong with the, either the pigtails, the pixels, the extensions, um, something physically on the controller itself. You're not testing a sequence. You're not testing X lights. You're not testing um, FPP pushing a sequence. You're testing strictly the controller's ability to light the lights. So that's step one. Start from there. <clears throat> step two, if that if all that goes good, test from FPP. Um, th this one is again a little trickier, but that involves going to status control display testing. I'm not a big proponent of testing from here because quite frankly, these numbers may not match nothing and it may cause you to think you have an issue that's not working. Um, but this one is available to you. You enable test mode. You probably want to do again, all channels and you hit the test button and it's going to light up everything that this FPP can, can push to. Um, it, if you hit the multi-sync, not to complicate the video, but the multi-sync will send these tests to other FPP-based controllers. If I was to say um, test here and click that, enable test mode. If I go to my Falcon and go to status, I would likely see test data coming through here. Um, I would I have to repeat this test with the proper one. So let me go back to here, go to my show player. You usually want to do it from your show player, right? So here we go there, status control, display testing. I'm going to say all channels. There we go. Hit the test mode. If all everything is working, we should see data coming through here. And we do. That tells me that you've got network connectivity coming from the FPP to your Falcon F16 or, or other device like that. Um, if I go back to my show player, this is my show player. If I go to input output channel outputs, you will see these are the controllers it knows about. So it's going to send test data to the Falcon, my other Falcon, and my F48. So I went to my F16 V3, and I can definitely see data is coming through. may not be the right data, but there is connectivity. So if you're not getting anything, there's some connectivity issues. Um, you want to look at uh, uploading your controllers, uploading your outputs, FPP Connect. All those things need to be in place. Let me go back and uh, go to status control, display testing, turn off your testing. Now, the, once you've got testing done on the controller and on the FPP, go take a step back and go to x -Lights itself. Go to x -Lights, Tools test. Tools test is really where you want to go for your testing. This is the source of truth. So if it doesn't work here, there's a configuration issue. You could start off by going to the controllers. Just click wide open, F16 V3. Note there's a couple of seconds of delay. But if I go to the F16 V3 and I go here, we should see some test data coming through. Boom, we do. So that tells you that's a good thing. Uh, again, uh, if you actually looked at the lights, you should see lights going because we did test that uh, the controller was working, uh, but this is now pushing data from x -Lite. So there's a good, si good sign that that's working. If you uncheck that, expand it out, you can actually test on individual pixel ports. So you can test to see if anything is broken there. 
So uh, from the test screen, you can also test individual ports. If you expand it out, you can test individual elements that are on the ports. Uh, so again, this is a way to tell if you've got things plugged into the right port or the wrong port. On the right-hand side, easiest thing to do is to just have it set to RGB cycle. And this is uh, essentially red, green, blue, red, green, blue, white. Um, if you are trying to diagnose uh, color issues, you might come to this function, use background only, and then slide up one or two or three of these sliders representing red, green, blue. But primarily stick with this. This will work for you here. Uh, let me turn it off on the Falcon, show you another option here is go to models and say you want to test to see if your mega tree is working. You can simply click on that, wait a couple of seconds and make sure that there's data coming through on your device. You can see that if it's on a, um, on a, uh, an FPP de based device and you go back to status control status and you should see data coming through here and you can uh, have live update status and you'll see the data is coming through here. Don't be too concerned about errors. There are There is going to be some errors um, with Wi-Fi data. Uh, that, that's just, that's fine. Um, don't, don't worry too much about that. You just wanna make sure you're getting data pushing through. If you're not getting data, then you're looking at some sort of networking or configuration setup. But this uh, this video is basically to show you what's out there and there's you know there's endless possibilities of things that could be wrong, but at least it'll let you diagnose it down uh, to see what might be the issue. So you can click on that and see if there's data coming through on the Falcons or on the on the Culps or whatever. So there's your tools test. Basically, you're going to stay on the models or in the controllers to test individual ports. You can turn them all off. Uh, if you really have issues on a model per se, there's this new feature here where you can select a model um, primarily with, um, say you're looking at um, a, a singing bulb where you're having issues, you could highlight just the eyeball and have it light up to make sure that you push the pixels in the right area. If you hold the shift key, that turns them off so I can unselect them. And I could just say select the bottom half, for example, and test to make sure that you're pushing the pixels in the right spot, or perhaps the model is incorrect. So there's the option there for model versus models and controllers. Um, outputs. This is a this is a good spot if you just do want to do a blanket shoot uh, data out the entire controller real quick you could do it here but as I showed you already this is probably the better place to go you shouldn't have to worry about setting these uh, this is really if you're uh, if there's some significant issues uh, output to lights is what you want which means obviously it's going to send the test out to the output to lights there is no turning it off turning it off just involves closing this dialog once you do that the testing is off unlike FPP. Um, where if you use status control display testing, if you forget to leave this checked on, you will be a little confused because you're going to be getting a, our red, green, blue pattern on the pixels and you're not going to know where it's coming from. Similarly, if you are on the F16 or a similar controller and you left this enabled, you would have a, a data coming through to your pixels and you'd be wondering what's going on. So there's a quick ways to test. Start from the controller, move to the FPP, and then t test from X lights. Um, I, I didn't really get into testing individual models here. This really in, uh, it only works well if you've uploaded your configuration through FPP Connect. I won't bother showing that right now. It, I really suggest you going to X Lights and using the test from there. That's the source of truth. This guy can be a little bit out of sync unless you've uploaded everything properly. And uh, that's really a source for another video. Um, but this is to show you how to do some testing right from the controller to FPP and then back to X Lights. Hope this helps you out. Uh, fine tuning your shows, finding those issues, tra uh, tracking down those bad pixels and bad props that just aren't acting out for you. So uh, good luck and see you in the Zoom room. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff and uh, have a great day.